is the night before Hurricane Ida makes landfall. It's hot, it's humid. It's eerie. It's really calm. You can see the clouds. The clouds are going by pretty quick. But by morning, it should be coming our way. We'll see. It's 8 a.m. We just lost power for the first time. It came back. You guys see it. There. The generator's running. system it's officially a strong high-end category four that doesn't matter whether it's a category four or a category five the extent of these impacts are going to penetrate well inland as per hour this is going to continue to get worse as we head through the next couple of hours and especially by 10 30 these conditions will drastically start to go downhill I don't know, that's some strong wind. Gatsby, where are you going? He's, he's, not like, he's like, I'm done. Yeah, I want to go inside. Like, he's like, I'm done. Jeez. It's alright. It's okay, boy. It's okay, boy. It's okay. It's okay. His tail is not up and wagging. No, he's he's a little nervous. Yeah. Understandably so. Not between his legs either. Oh yeah, I can see the weather man. That's me, you okay? You okay, boy? What we heard on the radio about an hour ago is that the worst of the storm is about two hours from New Orleans. And it's been getting progressively worse. An RTA ferry board in Chalmette broke free and began drifting away up the river. The winds out of the east powerful enough to push the boat against the current. I've never seen anything like this. Uh, 
they're so loud. When you're outside, you can't help but like cover your ears like a, like a train's going by. So there are roughly 40 people on Grand Isle who stayed behind to ride out Hurricane Ida rather than evacuate. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards says Hurricane Ida will be too much for salt levee systems. Based on the hurricane track and the wind, rain, and surge forecast uh, for the remainder of the hurricane, uh, the CPRA is anticipating some overtopping of the southeast portions of the Rose to Golden Meadow levee system. A partial generator failure at Thibodeau Regional Health System and doctors and nurses scrambling, manually operating ventilators. Uh, yeah, if we had something. Right, yeah, I mean, it's coming through the door, huh? Oh my god. That way is south. And as the storm comes up this way, the winds are going to be coming from the south. Right now, the house has been protecting it this whole time. Jesus Christ. It's insane. It is. It's so loud. It's absolutely insane. Oh my God. Movie's good, Momsy? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, great. Let's go to category three. Hurricane feels like.
the last little angle where you can still be protected by the house from the wind because the wind's starting to come from the south now. And it looks like our wind gauge has now failed at the International Airport, so we can't tell you the wind speed there, as so many of the other wind gauges have failed today. <sighs> Found out why so much water is coming in right here because part of the roof got torn off just outside the store. A tremendous amount of, of roofs that have been damaged, uh, trees that have fallen, water mains that have been broken. Um, just, it's, just, it's just going on and on. Um, not to mention we've, we've had a very difficult time at the feet of Grand Isle. And um, we know the feet take on somewhere between 10 and 15 feet of water. A party would be on you know, saving lives in search of rescue, but um, you know, we've lost 100% of the grid. We've lost our water pressure on the east and west bank. Right, can't you? Yeah, you can. I just wrapped it, tucked it around the edge. Right. All right, so now we'll just peel it back as we go. 